Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're all doing well, I'm doing fine. So today's topic is Copilot for security and especially prompt books. Imagine the situation, you're dealing with an incident and you're using Copilot for security to help you resolve that incident. You have, let's say, executed 10 prompts that give you valuable information on how to resolve that incident. A couple of hours later, after resolving your incident, a new incident occurred. The same type of incident. Would it be very helpful if we could just, with one click of a button, execute the 10 prompts that we have executed for our earlier incident? That is exactly where prompt books come into play. Copilot for Security has a lot of prompts that work together. We can put them together in a prompt book. There are built-in prompt books and we can create our own prompt books. So, let me show you how they work. Okay, so here we are in the Copilot for Security standalone experience that you can find using securitycopilot.microsoft.com. And if we look down on this page, we have our prompt books displayed over here. In this tenant, I don't have any custom prompt books, so these are all the prompt books that come with Copilot for Security. I can view my library by clicking on this over here. You'll see them over here. Not that, uh, that many at this moment, but we will add later on our own prompt books. If I click on one of those prompt books, let's say the suspicious script analysis, we see the prompts that get executed. And this is a prompt book that will help us analyzing a script. And you see that there are things over here like snippet, and we can work with variables in our prompt books. If I click on start new session, you'll see that I have to enter a script to analyze. Let's put something in there. This is the script that was used uh, during the Microsoft Exchange Hafnium attack. And if I now click run, it will automatically start a new chat session with all the prompts that you just saw preloaded it will now automatically execute all those prompts. What you also see over here is that the snippet uh, is replaced for my script. So we can work with variables over here, which is pretty neat. Let's wait for a moment for this prompt book to complete. So our first prompt is ready now. This, it is explaining what the uh, script is actually doing. The next prompt is also ready. Provide the reputation of any IP names or host name. Well, the script does not have any IP addresses or host name. It's processing uh, the, the third uh, uh, prompt. The third prompt actually Failed. It's actually uh, the prompt uh, to list threat intelligence. Well, there's actually no threat intel in this script. Let's look for our next prompt. So the prompt uh, will look for any indicators of compromise in the, the script. And it's actually responding the script uh, you provided does not contain any specific indicators of compromise. And the last step would be uh, or that's not the last step, we have uh, one uh, still. So it will give me some recommendations, it's processing them right now. So here we have the recommended actions based on uh, the script, what we should do. Quite nice, isolate, uh, isolate the incident. Cool. And the last step is to summarize the findings. And here we have uh, a summary of our uh, script and the things that we, uh, we just investigated. So as you see, the prompt book can be very helpful. Often we use a couple of prompts together to get a certain outcome. 
let's say we are going to investigate an incident or a script, you use multiple uh, prompts that actually together form your solution. The prompt books allow us to put together those prompts and repeat them for all the incidents where we would like to use them, which I think is really nice and is a time saver as we don't have to uh, write down the prompts again and again and again. So let now grab a good cup of coffee. And after that, I'm going to show you how we can create our own prompt books. That was a very nice cup of coffee. Coffee and cybersecurity, I think, is one of the best combinations uh, in the world. So let's now quickly go into Copilot for security. I'm going to show you how you can create your own prompt books. Okay, here we are again in Copilot for security. Uh, I have a conversation over here that I uh, did with Copilot for security to provide me some intelligence about a domain that I've used. I actually would like to create a playbook of this conversation. And that's actually quite easy to do. If I click on the marker next to my prompt, I can select them all. The first is uh, look up the threat intel for my domain. The second one is can you give the IP addresses that are associated with my domain. And the third one is actually give me uh, the actions on what I should execute. On the top over here we have a button called create prompt book. I can click on this one and here it actually started. I can give my prompt book a name, analyze TI for domain. I can give it a tag, let's say TI, the description of this prompt book. This prompt book will look up for TI related to a domain. It uses the Defender TI plugin and the Triage uh, Incident plugin. I can edit my uh, prompt book over here. As you can see, this was used for the domain beatguitar.com and I can change this to domain. And with that, I'm making this a variable. If I now click on OK, Copilot for security knows that I have a domain variable over here. I will create this prompt book just for me. So when I, when I now click on create, the prompt book is created. I can click on view. This will show me the, uh, the prompt book. And when I now start a new session, I have to fill in my, uh, my domain name. Let's say google.com. Uh, I can now click on run and those uh, prompts over here will get executed for the domain google.com. Okay, so let's click on run now and see how our prompts are automatically getting executed. 
Of course, we are using the Google domain over here, so I don't expect any uh, threat intel out of it, but it's just for demo purposes, right? Let's wait a minute for, uh, for this to complete and uh, we evaluate the prompts uh, later. Okay, so let's analyze our uh, prompts. Even though I didn't expect any threat intel, there is most likely a uh, attack group, Storm0563, which uses domain google.com uh, in combination with a proxy server. So uh, there you know, there is threat intel found on this, uh, on this domain. It actually resolves all the IP addresses that are on this domain, which are a lot. And we had some troubles with uh, the actions to execute. Um, that can happen sometimes. But here you saw how we can use a prompt book to execute the same steps as we used for an earlier incident. So as you just saw, creating a prompt book can make your life much easier. You can standardize the actions that you actually would like to load off to Copilot using prompt books, a couple of prompts together that are executed automatically. And that will save you a lot of time and it will make sure that every time you run that prompt book, it will get executed in the same manner which is really helpful because we would like to standardize and automate as much as possible in our security operations. So that is really nice. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you love my content. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh.